So Sean, our closet is already looking more organized, but we need somewhere to hang those jerseys. We do. So we're gonna go ahead and put a closet rod into the closet. So normally this is a pretty straightforward ordeal. This closet poses a little bit of a problem because of the angled wall. So what we have to do is build a mounting block for that closet rod to get installed into. And now this also works uh, for those of you at home that have an angled ceiling. So you can use the same trick on a ceiling or a wall. Today, we're gonna to be doing it obviously on a wall. This supply list is similar to the one we use for our closet shelves. To get started, we need a level, stud finder, a straight edge or T-square, a marker, drill, screwdriver, safety glasses, and a clothing rod. Sean also brought a small wooden block that we'll cut using the miter saw. Finally, we need three inch screws to mount the block onto the wall. On to the first step. So Ryan, I take my block of wood and I place it straight onto the straight wall. And then I rotate it over to our angled wall. And then I take my tool that has two flat surfaces, 90 degree, in this case I'm using a level. We're gonna put the flat side of the level against the back wall. We're going to make a line that comes along the torpedo level that makes a 90 degree turn with the back wall. Did we lose you there? Allow us to explain one more time. Because we need two parallel surfaces to mount our rod, we need to cut our wood block on an angle. So place the block on the back wall, tilt it to the angled wall, and draw a vertical line from the corner out. So now this is our block. We're gonna take it to the miter saw and cut this, throw the excess out, and then we'll have our mounting block. And now this is our mounting square. Let me show you how it works. Yes. So now this creates a parallel line with the other wall so we can mount our closet rod. The next part of the project is finding where the studs are on this wall so we make sure we have a nice sturdy grip when we install a rod. We mark a spot along the stud so our rod will be high enough off the ground to hang a shirt. Then, Sean pre-drills a hole into the wood so the screw slides in a bit easier. Finally, he takes a three inch screw and drills the block in. So Ryan, I've got the first screw went into the stud. Now I'm just trying to get a couple other screws into the stud as well so we have maximum durability. <laughs> So Ryan, we've got the mounting block in place. Now it's time to put up the actual closet rod. It comes with the hardware. Sean screws the rod hardware on. We're gonna make sure that the closet rod is level. So it's level here. So go ahead and mark the top. Okay, Ryan, we've got both brackets installed and now we wanna put the rod in place. Now these top two holes of the rod line up with holes on the top of the hardware. For our last step, we lock in the rod with a screw on each end. All right, Sean, the bar is in. It looks sturdy. Remember that wire shelf that was holding on for dear life? Well, it's been replaced with custom shelves and a sturdy clothing rod, making this closet much more functional. And when you get a coat of paint on the shelves and the mounting bracket, everything's gonna blend into the walls. This easy project only took about 30 minutes and cost us less than $40 in supplies.